What should I do? If I don't do something, he'll... Huh? What's this? I'm... receptive? To that art? And to you? Uh, where am I? Take it easy, Velvet. You've been out for three days. Then that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taken a real shine to them. All right then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either... Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. <sighs> Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows, you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true, food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Time for some grub, Lafayette. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid. Or prison crab dumplings. Or sea snake bowl! It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild or you'll be sorry. How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark fin and egg soup. For dessert, I'll have a sweet bean and jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake! Zip it, Mogilu. Oh well, I'm getting full just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge, with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. Ooh, an austere choice. And an apple. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. I think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay. I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like- Zip it, Mogilu! I haven't seen many Abbey patrol ships around here of late. I noticed that too. Do you think something happened? The Bloodwings said the Abbey's been quiet everywhere. Apparently some bad demons and a cursed pirate crew have been giving them trouble, and they can't spare the men to patrol the outer seas. That's Eifried's pirates for ya. Always gathering information and keeping on their guard. A cursed pirate crew? Isn't that us? If the info's sound, We've really made a name for ourselves. 
<laughs> Abby ships run and hide when they see us coming. Reason dictates that we avoid hopeless fights. Ooh, Shepard Arturius, you're my hero! Ha ha ha! If only our enemies were truly that dumb. Sadly, the world isn't that forgiving. We can't drop our guard. Aye. I've contacted some fishermen friends of mine. They'll let us know if they notice anything fishy. We've got the first mate's curse to deal with. We can never be too careful. Yeah, with that Reaper's curse hanging over us, we don't have room to relax. <laughs> well, at least they're not too bothered by it. All right. Show him how I free. Okay, Fee. I need you to find us our next Earth Pulse point. I found one, but it's really, really far. Way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah, I think the Earth Pulse Point's probably out there. Engand, huh? Those waters are haunted by ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? Yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That... Doesn't sound promising. Currents from all over the world converge in Engen's waters, so a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh huh. Ah. So that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo. You guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. Just one Therian to go. When I escaped, Ceres told me that Artorias could still be killed. That means she must have known everything. That Enominot is incomplete. How Therians work. But why did she betray Artorias? Why did she give me her strength? I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. But what made you go so far as to feed yourself to me? Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. Just focus on what has to be done. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. That prince you brought back is one interesting guy. He's happy playing with the dogs, right? And that's perfectly normal. But I swear, he even naps with them. And that hawk, with a big smile on his face? And when Dial or Kamawana ask him to put in some work, he doesn't make a face or nothing. He just gets right to it. Wait, they're asking the prince to do chores for them? Isn't that a little much? 
Yeah, honestly, I was worried about it too. But when I asked him about it, he said not to worry. And get this! The guy says when he lived in the palace, he couldn't even yawn without getting permission. He couldn't even play with his dogs, let alone help other people with their tasks. Everything was the job of his servants. So anything we tell him to do, no matter how trivial, the guy happily does it. Says he really feels like he's alive. Wow! Feels like he's too good a guy to be a prince. You got it backwards. I'd love to see what a nice guy who gets the common folk does once he starts calling the shots. But if he were to rejoin the royal family, he'd be our enemy, wouldn't he? At the very least, he wouldn't try to control how we think, like the Abbey's doing now. Either way, you're pirates. You plunder other people's ships. I think you'd be the enemy of any state. Moana's not here, is she? No, she's not. Are you looking for her? No, the opposite, actually. I'm hiding from her. Kamoana saw my tail fall off, and now she's absolutely obsessed about it. I'm worried that if I'm not careful, she'll try to sneak up on me and give me a big scare, and I'll drop this new tail after it's just regrown. Is dropping your tail such a big deal? Well, if I need to make a quick escape, I can't exactly drop my tail without having one to drop. Oh. I see. Hey, Eisen, great timing. I've got a question. What would you say the four great wonders of the ocean are? Far as I know, it's the Phantom Fleet, Dragon Island, the Big Hedian Tribe, and the Kraken Queen. Ha <laughs> ha! See? I'm right! But this scoundrel insists he knows better than me. What else could the fourth be but the Kraken Queen? The colossal upright eel! Besides, the Kraken Queen is just a fantasy cooked up by girl-starved sailors. What's the Kraken Queen? What do you mean, fantasy? It's not just a fantasy, boy. The Kraken Queen is a slippery black squid, the size and shape of a lusciously proportioned woman. When it encounters a human, it goes into a frenzy, attacking with its long whip-like arms. That sounds painful. Real painful. Mind-numbingly painful, even. But here's the thing. At some point, the pain turns into pleasure. You mean it feels good to get whipped? You see, boy, that's why we call her the mystery. Hey! Bad pirate! Stop corrupting our youth! Corrupting? Boy, there's no need to contain your curiosity. When pain turns to pleasure, you've truly become a man. 
Laffy said, don't listen to them. This is something you should hear. Aren't you curious why the Kraken Queen is a wonder of the sea? Want to find out? Yes, tell me. Why? Normally, it hurts to be whipped. Nothing pleasurable about that. You don't like getting hurt, right? No. It hurt when Teresa hit me. I didn't like it at all. And yet the Kraken Queen grants pleasure through pain. The Kraken Queen's tentacles secrete some sort of unknown, pleasure-inducing substance. When they touch you, the pleasure is beyond. All right, we're done here. The Kraken Queen is no longer allowed to be the fourth wonder. It's now the Colossal Upright Eel. Argument over. Tell Luffy said about this eel, and keep it wholesome. Um, sure. The Colossal Upright Eel is as big as a whale, and long and straight like a marlin's bill. Cut it open, steam it, then baste it with a special sweet and sour sauce, and grill it twice over charcoal, and it's heavenly. Or so I hear. Mmm, that does sound really good. I know, right? The problem is, its name is an apt one. Colossal. It's too big to catch? No, the upright part. When people try to catch it, it stands up on its two legs and zoom! Off it goes, running on top of the water. It's a fish? With legs? Now that's a wonder, right, kid? Well, at least it's a wholesome one. It's not. You have to do it right. You're so mean, Medissa. If you keep telling me what to do, I'll hate you. Fine. Hate me then. So long as you do what I say. Fine? Uh, I love you, Medissa, and you don't even care. Uh, what's going on here? Eleanor, Medissa's being mean. She keeps telling me to dry my hair after my bath, but I don't wanna. What? Is that all you're arguing about? This is important. Just because she's a Therian doesn't mean she can't catch a cold. But I won't! I won't catch a cold! I swear! I don't want to take Mom's yucky, awful medicine, so I'm not gonna get sick. If you insist on being so stubborn, we can do this the hard way. There's no need for everyone to get so worked up. Her hair's pretty much dry already, right? Yeah, what she said! <sighs> I'm spoiling her, aren't I? Seriously. Look, we don't even know what would happen if Etherian catches a cold, let alone how to treat it. That's true. But look, I get it. I know you feel responsible for her. You mean, what happened to her mother? Yeah, Luffy said told me about it. My my, look who's a little tattletale. I'm sorry, but I thought Medissa should know. Just in case. It's fine, I suppose. I should have told her myself. Well, at least I understand everything now. It's all too tragic for words. Yes. And the knowledge would not be something that a young child could possibly bear. I'm not planning on telling her. That's probably your only option. But do you really think you can keep lying to her forever? I have to. For her own sake. For her, huh? All right. I'll go with you on this. You two are going through an awful lot of trouble for a selfish kid. All kids are selfish. They're selfish. But that's what their families 
And their mothers should be there for. Don't you have any memories like that yourself? Sorry, but I'd rather just keep them to myself. Pish and Piffle. Everybody in their issues, am I right? seen Kamawana around? Not lately, no. I haven't seen her, no. Great. She's making me play hide-and-seek with her, but she's surprisingly good at it for her age. Where is that girl hiding? Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> it worked! Whoa! You were inside, Korogane? Have you been in there this whole time? Yep, I even asked him if I could first. I only let her because she threatened to cry if I didn't. But you still covered for her? That was nice of you. Yeah, thanks, Kirogane. You're pretty nice. I told no lie. I don't have a face, so I couldn't have seen her. I suppose that's technically true. Hilafi said, you won't believe it. Kuro Gane's armor is actually really roomy inside. I think I might even make it my secret hideout. I'm not sure Koragane would like that. Oh, please, no.
Bye. <laughs> 